Hey guys, I have here my JBL Flip 5 and today we want to take a look inside of this uh, medium sized Bluetooth speaker. So I'm starting out by removing the grill, so this cover here, and it's easiest to start with a prying tool in one of the corners here and then you work your uh, way along the uh, long edge here. Doesn't matter which side, either the side with the buttons or the opposite side. You see here there's a couple of uh, tabs that hold this in place. Then you're going to uh, perform the same action here on the opposite side. And then uh, it's really easy to take the cover off at this point then here. Just hold it like this and then squeeze it apart a little bit and you can take the core out. So here, this is already the cover gone. And we see here the, uh, the buttons and then here the mono speaker. And uh, so next we're going to take here this the rest of the red part off. There's uh, four screws here on the side. Those are pretty long screws and they're relatively easy to take out. See, this is what one of those screws looks like. Four of those we have. And then at this point we can already take the uh, sides off here. We can lift them off. Uh, but here the center part, that's where it's still uh, attached. And there's a couple of tabs here, three on each side. And if you just use a, some kind of prying tool, you can easily pop those off. There is a little bit of glue on there, so you have to uh, pry a little bit harder, but uh, it's okay to uh, remove it. It still goes really easy. And then you can just slide it off. Okay, so then we are removing the sides here where the passive radiators are. Uh, those are really easy to uh, remove actually. So you just uh, pry underneath those uh, plastic tabs and then they just pop off. So one side pops off really easy here. And you see here the uh, passive radiator in there. There's actually like a stop here on the back side so you can't accidentally push it in too far and break the passive radiator. And then we can already see here inside, see the battery, the board, PCB and uh, couple of other connectors and wires. Okay, so then we do the same here with the opposite side. Works the same way. It's actually exactly the same. And then here we can see inside of the charging port and we also see the speaker here back there. Okay, so then I'm uh, removing now the uh, speaker itself. There's a couple of bigger screws here for Phillips screws. It's really easy to remove. And once you have the screws removed, then uh, take off the speaker and you have to be careful. So there's a seal in behind there that makes it waterproof. And of course the uh, speaker is attached to the motherboard here. And uh, there's a simple connector, so it's not soldered on. You can really easily remove this back here by, uh, by just pulling it out. And then we can also inspect here the speaker here. It's pretty heavy, nice and heavy magnet. And then here we have the seal. Make sure you don't uh, accidentally ruin that. Okay, now we can uh, detach here the uh, cable by the charging port, USB-C charging port. And then next we have here this uh, little ribbon cable. You can detach this right on the board. There's a little gray switch that you flip up. And then you can just easily pull that out. Then there's another small ribbon cable back there that goes to the uh, four buttons on the side of the speaker. You can uh, either detach this here by just pulling it out. Or there's also a connector on the board uh, but there's a, like a tab of glue on there, so I'm detaching it here. I just, I just pull it straight out. It's really easy. Okay, so then we have one more wire here, like a small black wire. Right here, you can see this. And that goes here to the uh, Bluetooth antenna. You can see this here, it says South Star Flip 5 BT. So this is the Bluetooth antenna back there. And then that goes here to the back side of the board. You see here this little tab of uh, glue. 
that's hot glue and uh, that's where the uh, antenna is connected to. This is how that looks like when you take the uh, connector off. So this is the connector here with the, for the Bluetooth antenna. Okay, so now at this point we can carefully pull out the uh, board a little bit and then we can now detach the battery. See, this is a simple connector, big connector, easy to remove. And this is here the battery. 4,800 milliamp hours. 3.6 volts. Now let's pull out the uh, PCB completely. There's one more connector here and one more cable that we can detach. And I think this is actually a microphone. So uh, the speaker doesn't have the uh, speakerphone functionality, but it seems like the hardware does have a microphone built in and they just, the JBL just didn't utilize it for whatever reason. See here, this is where it's detached or attached to the uh, housing. Now here we have the PCB and a lot of people always ask me here for a really close up of the uh, board here. So I'm going to uh, go through this here really slowly so we can have a look at all the components. So this takes about one and a half minutes. So if you're not interested, then just skip this part. Now here we have the uh, top button panel here with the uh, power button and the Bluetooth button. So we can uh, remove this also. Let's have a look at side there. So there's a couple of LEDs that light up. So I'm going to take a look at those. And there's five screws that hold, it, hold this in here. And that part also includes here the uh, charging port. So if you uh, want to repair that one, then you can pull this out really easily. See here, this is where the USB-C charging port is attached to. And then separate from that in there, we have the uh, small daughter board here with the LEDs and the switches. You can see that's where the uh, connection point is for the uh, wider ribbon cable that I already removed before this. And let's uh, let's remove the board here that's glued on to the uh, housing. So I'm carefully trying to pry this off. Okay, so this is what this whole board looks like. Also here, a really close, a close up here. So you see the power button on the left and the Bluetooth button next. And then on the right here coming in is the uh, LEDs for the battery status. Yeah, and this was already it here, the uh, teardown video for the JBL Flip 5. I hope you found this video useful. If you uh, like it, give me a thumbs up and if you have any more questions or comments, then write a message below.